Darren, what do, you, what do you see from Terry after his first full summer being the guy, being the starter, leading those summer workouts, those 7 7s Just days? confidence, leadership. Uh, you know, he's very confident. He understands the offense. So the learning curve on the offense is, is really, really high as far as he understands it. You know, now we're just really detailing things in the offense, and that's exciting. So I'm really proud of his confidence uh, and, again, his leadership. And the one thing that Terry does – right now is that when he does something wrong he gets he gets down and you know we, we can't get down because we'd make a mistake because he does he's been doing so many things so good so again we got to just stay level when we do stuff good and when we do stuff bad just understand we got to learn from it and keep going Are there ever any uh, teaching stories from Steven Johnson and, and how he was able to oh yeah yeah Steven you know Steven's uh, very similar in the same situation and again, his second year was extremely confident. His first year, obviously, he was the backup going into the season and really you know, ended up getting thrusted into the starting role. And then obviously he went through the off season and everything. And he still had to recompete for the job against Drew Barker and ended up winning it out. But it was a competition. And again, you could see Steven's leadership. Obviously, you know, he could play hurt. He did so many things for the team. And it was, you see Terry taking on that role. And again, you know, with, the, with Sawyer Smith and Walker Wood, which again, we're, I'm, my goal is to put pressure on him again to get everybody. So again, we got to have everybody ready to play, no matter who's playing. What do you like about Sawyer's film when you were looking for another quarterback to add? To that well, room? you know, the thing about it was is that he was he was an accurate kid, in, uh, as far as the deep ball, he was extremely accurate down the field. Um, he's great with RPOs, which is what we do, and so it's a really good fit for our offense. And the fact that he's been throwing deep balls out here, and throwing strikes it's exciting so those are those are two things and obviously he can run the ball he's 225 230 um you know and his learning curve you know he's an older guy you know he's been through wars he was mvp of his bowl game so the kid understands you know what he's going through and it's in the other thing too is he doesn't say a whole lot like in my meetings all he does is write notes and he's learning write notes learns ask the right questions and that's what you. That's what you want out of a, a kid coming in to want to go compete. Just talking to him briefly on media day, he seemed like a guy who knew what the situation was. He wasn't going to ruffle feathers. How important was that finding the fit in the room as opposed to some grad transfers? I assume want to come play from day one when they. Yeah, and place. I'll say this: Sawyer wants to play, right. and that's the, that's the truth. But he also is a team guy. So is Terry. So is everybody in that room, and that's the way it's always going to be in our room. And we're going to pull for each other. I said that at the moment any kid has gotten here, that's the way it's going to be. And we have fun in that room because of it. And we care about each other, and we all want to succeed. So, again, he fits in that room really, really well. I'm excited. And he is getting better and better. Through five days of practice, only being here five days, I'm, I'm really impressed with him. Where is Walker's progression as far as being part of that? Well, I'll tell you, you know, Walker's gone through those injuries, and he's playing the best he's ever played, truthfully. Now, is he making mistakes? Yes. He's got to take care of the football. He served it up to the defense too many times, and we can't. We got to be able to trust him. We got to be able to trust him when he's running the offense. So he understands that. He knows he's got to take care of the football. And again, he knows what to do because he's he's studied. He's been here longer than just as longer than Terry actually. So the the bottom line is is that he's got to go execute when he gets his opportunities. Are you good?